we'll do a different tutorial and look at uh, starting a racing game and controlling a vehicle through 360 degrees of motion. Okay, so first of all, we start out with a sprite. So I'm just going to do a little um, rectangle thing. And I'm going to put this uh, black dot here to show that it's the front. Okay? You, you want to make the front at the left. Make sure. Okay? At the right. So, right. Whatever. Left, right, same thing. Um, animation, rotation sequence, counterclockwise. This is going to um, add all of the frames to uh, the animation. So, um, I'm going to make it 100, but if you want it even smoother, go um, to uh, right up to 360, but it'll take pretty long to load. So, only do that if you're patient. This is auto-generating all of the intermediate frames. Yeah. The intermediate sprites, sorry. No, frames. Okay. Yeah, frames within the sprite. So we're going to, and it moves quite nicely. So, right, and now create object uh, with the sprite. And you're going to do the create event. Uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to put in code this time. So we're going to do sp max equals four. This is the maximum speed. You can change uh, this value to basically whatever you want. This is a variable. Yeah. And um, SP gain equals 0 0.25. This is the, the uh, acceleration. And again, you can change this value to whatever you want. Yeah. And handling equals 5. This is how much you're going to steer. Um, when you press the left or right arrow. And um, you're also going to do image speed equals zero. That goes blue, so it's built in. So these other yeah. ones, variables, you have to write code to use that. You're going to use, you're going to write code that does math. Yeah. The blue things are built in, and so any number you put there, there's um, already existing code that, that, that uh, accounts for that behavior. Yeah. So, uh, we're also going to do another built-in called friction, and, and that's going to slow us down when we're not pressing a key. So, friction equals 0 0.5. That's going to um, slow us down uh, so that you don't keep going uh, the same speed. Okay. So, um, now do um, keyboard up uh, if speed is less than SP max right so we can only we have a limit on how fast we can go yep then speed plus equals SP gain so um, this is basically our accelerating code yep and we're going to duplicate that for keyboard down. Uh, we're going to change this to greater than negative SP max and minus equals SP gain. Sure. So this slows us down. Yep. And um, now we're going to do the left and right steering thingies. So uh, keyboard left, we're going to do the um, direction plus equals handling. So this is going to add to our direction by uh, however much we set for the handling. So now um, duplicate that for keyboard right and just change the plus to minus. 
So, um, now we're gonna do the step event because he's not actually, he's gonna turn in motion, but he's not gonna turn visually. So, we need to do that by doing, um, step, image, speed, no, image index equals image image number times direction divided by 360. So this deals with how to change direction? Yeah. Uh, if you have the Pro Edition, uh, you didn't need to do all the animation stuff in that, and then you could just go in ahead and type image angle equals direction, which would actually look a lot better, but you can't do that in the um, unregistered version. So if you have that, just do this. Yep. Okay? And now just put them in the room. And he turns, but Wait, he doesn't. Don't hit escape. He doesn't accelerate or decelerate because we set the friction. Okay. Sometimes that happens, so if I set it down to 0 0.05 or something. So there, turns, accelerates, decelerates. And it's pretty good.